So it's Tuesday morning here at Millbridge Speedway, guys. We were supposed to race today for the qualifying of the Opens in the 250 class, and then the beginner box and box stocks were supposed to run their full show, but it's raining. Doesn't look like we're going to get the race in today. Since it has banking in it, all the water obviously is draining to the bottom, so hopefully this rain helps the track be tackier and more racy. But the percentages of chances of rain, we might not even race till Thursday or Friday. So hopefully we can get it in because I know a lot of us have to go home and a lot of us have flights or we're driving back to get back to school. It's supposed to rain all day, so we're probably going to find some fun things to do while we're waiting out the rain. And I got some bad news. They just canceled the races. You guys saw that previous clip. It was raining and it's still raining really, really hard here. Starting to rain harder and harder, but since they just canceled the races, we're going to go do some things in Mooresville. But so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to a lot of the cup shops. We're definitely going to try to go to KBM, Penske, Stort Haas. So we are here at KBM. We just pulled up. This is going to be the first race shop yeah, that we're going to do. Here it is. Come on, go, 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 go. Wow. Right as you walk in, the first thing you see is his Sprint Cup Championship trophy right here in a glass case. Here is the beginning of his really long trophy line wall. It goes all the way down here. Some of these trophies from Auto Club Speed. Texas Motor Speedway, Chicago Land. there's just lots of different ones. So all these trophies are from the Food City 500, which he's won a total of five times. All of these are from Dover International Speedway, the Monster Mile. He's got some down here from Homestead, a few up, or five of them up there from Texas Motor Speedway, and just a lot of other really cool trophies that you don't see all the time. So here's a few of Kyle Busch's great cars. This is when he swept the weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway a few years ago, I believe in 2011. Here's the car he won in the Cup Series, here's the car he won in the Nationwide Series, and then the car he won in the Truck Series. This is one of the greatest weekends he ever had in racing in NASCAR was when he swept the weekend at Bristol. Here's some of the cars that he drove back right before he got to NASCAR. I'm not sure what series this is in, but he, he did drive this car. And then he has the open wheel modified car that he drove. And then I believe this is the car he drove when he was at Hendrick Motorsports in the 5 car. Here are a lot of Kyle Busch's suits that he's used through the years. The Snickers, the M&Ms, the Interstate Batteries, NOS. Toyota, even back to when he drove Lowe's back, I think, at Hendrick Motorsports. Okay, so, I don't the car. so it's still raining out, but we're leaving KBM right now. I don't know. I think we're going to go to Penske Net. We are here at the guest entrance at Penske Motorsports, or Penske Racing. Quick story from here at Team Penske last year. Carly bought Joey Logano's side panel from his car that was ga that was race used. It even had a tire mark on it. And we still have it at our house. We haven't hung it up yet, but we're going to hang it up on Carly's wall soon. Uh, there's a couple of Brad Keselowski ones here. Here's Joey Logano's car looking really good. I really like the colors. Carissa, when she raced, she actually had a car that looked just like Joey Logano's. And then Carly ran it for a few years. Here is a few of the trophies at Tame Penske. They got a little video playing right here. But a few, similar to the ones that Kyle Busch has won, a few from uh, Bristol International Speedway, or Bristol Motor Speedway, excuse me. And th then you have a few from Pocono, the STP 300 over here too, from Chicago Land Speedway. Now we are going up on the fan walk where you can oversee all of Penske at work. So we're up on the fan walk here. Here are all the haulers for the nationwide cars and the cup cars down here. And then over here they're doing the decals and wraps and getting the numbers all on the cars. Over there is where they make the chassis for the cars and then as you guys can see it's the bod the body shop is over here. Here are all of these cars are more of the race ready cars as they go down. You have Brad Keselowski's two car right there, a couple of Joey Logano's cars and then I believe Joey Logano's nationwide car is also down there, the discount tire car. So we are just leaving Penske right now. I think we're going to Junior Motor, are we going to Junior Motorsports next or? Junior Motorsports next. So we are here at Junior Motorsports. This is just a nationwide team. They don't have any cup cars here, but here is one of Junior's helmets that he signed. It's autographed helmet, and it's $208. Here is inside of Junior Motorsports. Here's the three car. I believe Dale drove this in the Xfinity Series one time, and then there's lots of other cars. There's Elliot Sadler's car, and then there's lots of the, all the employees over there. They're just working on cars. So we are leaving Junior Motorsports now. In this like spree of like two miles, there's like Casey Kane, Martin Truck. So I think we're gonna hit one of those next. And it's still raining outside. I think the races will probably end up getting canceled for tomorrow. It's not raining as bad as it was, but the, but the clouds in the air, they just don't look good. And we're gonna start heading back towards Mooresville. And so here are a few of the gators that they that the Casey Kane Dirt Shop has won a few over the years. I know. And then here's the lobster that he won at New Hampshire, where that's the trophy. Here's one of his Arai helmets. Here's his dirt team, since this is his dirt shop. And then he has his fire suit and a few pr pictures of his sprint cars. 
So the shop's pretty empty here at Casey Kane because all the cars are in New Jersey racing. Then they're going to be at the dirt track in Charlotte later this week. But Casey was just actually in the shop right here. There's Brad Sweet's number 49 Napa front car. And then the number 4 I racing car that Casey Kane drives down here. And here is Casey's where, this is where Casey Kane started. His first quarter midget has like weird old pipe. You don't see these anymore. So we left Casey Kane's dirt shop and now we're going to Martin Truex Racing. We just pulled in the parking lot and it's pouring down rain. Hopefully we don't get soaked from here to the park, from to the door. Run, Carly! <laughs> We made it. So here is one of his furniture row suits. Then he has the Bass Pro Shops. I think he has some of the coolest cars with the orange and the black and sometimes the red. It just, it looks really good. He's got a few die cast cars here and then a few of his trophies that he's won over here. An Eagle from Pocono and then New Hampshire over here and Bristol Motor Speedway here. So he keeps his boats in his race shop. He's got a few asphalt carts over there. It looks like they've been shooting a commercial too. Uh, he's got the 56 car when he raced for, I think, Michael Walter Racing and Napa Auto Parts. And he even has an aquarium in here. He's got a few fish. Looks like Finding Nemo here. You all ready to go, Mom? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go. Ah! Oh, shoot. I just got soaked. Let me in. Let me inside. Shoot, my camera's gonna get soaked. So we had some fun time with our friends, guys, this past night. We just got back to the track here at Millbridge Speedway. It's really dark. It stopped raining, but it's still really, really muddy here. I think we might be able to get this show on tomorrow, Wednesday. You can hear the frogs. You can hear all the animals making noises, but there's still some water on the track. I think it'll get better. I'm going to head back to RV and get some rest. So we're back inside. It doesn't look like we're going to race tomorrow because there's a 100% chance of rain, but we probably, you know, there's still a chance. The track's not too wet, but thank you guys for watching. I had a really good day after all the race shops, and I will see you guys later. Deuces.